Hello, welcome to another episode of the GNPS. It's your boy Ujenera Lumpanwa Ngalego Tugela Mkuma Pants Lengut. Mshala Mshala Kuna Laite Gwin Kwa Zulu. You know what it is. We're coming at you with another episode of the GNPS. And sitting across me are my two guests. You On my right, I have oh. Lord Scripps. You already know what it is. Shout out, my nigga General. What's up, homeboy? I'm easy, bro. What's popping? You good? 100, bro. And <laughs> to his left, I have Audio the, Sims, the, the hardest producer in the city. Word. The Audio Sims. Word. It really be that way. Yeah. <laughs> Word. Facts. How many records? We stopped counting. Not oh, too many. Man. My name. I mean, it's, it's a lot of shit that's still going to drop, bro. Yeah, my ning. Yeah, I think that's even out. Yeah, it's a, it's it's quite a few. Your outs. hand is everywhere. It's a though. lot. Thank <laughs> you. I try to work with as many people as I can. Yeah, yeah. And Lord Scripps being being, being one of them. Lord Scripps being the first artist. When I first came to Durban, I was uh, duty mm. doing PR duty, uh, 2013 mm. and 2014 second year. I started making beats. Right, but where we where we were ha- where we were hanging out was close to campus called um, place called Snake Park. Yeah, right there by DUT, just hanging out there. That was the place where there was a bunch of artists and stuff, and where I used to go after school and shit. So, uh, but they were making like old school type music, you know, yeah. boom bap sampling yeah. and stuff like that. I was just when I started making beats, was after I heard. Uh, after I heard Travis Scott's Al Faro project, yeah. like I like the beats, like the hard ass kicks and just hard drums like that. Yeah. That's when I decided to start making music. But even before that, I just always liked the beats, you know? Yeah, like if a you, song had a nice beat. You've always beat, been about the beats. Yeah, if a song had a nice beat, I'd always, you know, I'd, I'd like yeah. that song a lot more. So then I was hanging out, <coughs> excuse me, I was hanging out at Snake Park, you know, every day. Yeah. And I didn't have my own laptop. These niggas had laptops and shit, and they were, they didn't like the kind of music that I was doing. So <laughs> I get like a little chance, like a, a nigga give me like thirty minutes while he's they smoking weed or whatever outside, and yeah. make beats on his laptop. But they they didn't really like what I was doing. And then the one day, this this nigga is there, right? I, yeah. I don't know. He's recording some other shit, super trash song. He's recording <laughs> trash. <laughs> <laughs> Super trash song. <laughs> run this shit, you know we run this shit. Really. Yeah, and funny enough, I actually already knew <laughs> the I fact I that you still remember that. Yeah, no. don't, don't, I remember that moment. That <laughs> Must have been real trash. <laughs> I cannot. It was super trash. Um, the thing is, prior to that, I'd heard of him yeah. because there was a, a period when I was in high school when, before I'd come to Durban, I was still in Richards Bay. Mm. Crumping was like really big, the right? Big thing, yeah. Exactly. So. Durban crumping was popping off and like Richards Bay is like a small town so it, there's dances but it ain't really popping off like that so yeah. they're always watching videos of the on their phone of niggas from Durban things popping off at Bad Center and the, mm. the name script would always be you know or script or whatever verb <laughs> all these other little names <laughs> Kingdom Radical all these weird names <laughs> and, and shit like that so I already knew his name prior to ever meeting him then when I, yeah. I met him and you know, I uh, uh, was crumping. So that day, those niggas were playing him those like old school beats, and obviously yeah. he wasn't into that. And then I don't know. I think he walked in or some shit, and I was playing um, one of my beats, and he liked it. You okay. know, and which you've made off of the thirty minutes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. A little shine. With the, the little shine he used to get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, off my little time that I that I got, and you know, he liked it. You know, so we hung out. I think <coughs> the same day we hung out and like afterwards or whatever mm. and we did just me and a couple of my friends and him so and we both like Travis Scott so like Travis Scott's music really that's why I kind of started making beats and yeah before that you hadn't made beats I'd, I'd messed around a bit on Fruity Loops here and there yeah. I knew the basics of it but um, I had friends that were making beats like making beats I was still messing around and shit yeah. I wasn't really making music. 2014 was when I, I started producing. Wow. And 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 now here you are. I guess. So. This is like six what six years later. Six years, yes. Oh, that's a long time though. You've been doing. It. You can tell within the production that, you know, it's great uh, yeah. quality. There's always more to learn though. I yeah. think about, um, <coughs> when it comes to music, uh, I n- I don't I never think I'm as good as people say I am. Like, uh, 
I think so. As an artist, you have to be your biggest critic. Mm. You can never be content with how good you are. You have to always want to be better. Mm. You know? And and for you, uh, Scripps, I mean, <coughs> you wasn't vibing with this kid. <laughs> and and you guys were doing your own thing, moving your own wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when does it hit you? Like, how do you get to a point now where you're like, yo, I'm sleeping on gold. <laughs> well like bro like how he just said um like when i met him because like I've, i'd already been rapping for a long time mm. but the point i was at because I, when i started rapping i was i was battle rapping mm. you know what i'm saying so i didn't really like compose songs write lyrics make a hook all i knew was just to write a bunch of bars and diss niggas you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's how i started rapping so yeah that's, that's a battle mc yeah, you know what I'm saying? Does like, that. Uh, from like uh, primary <coughs> school to high school that is basically what i was doing and then wait, maybe wait, where did you grow up um okay i'm from i'm from the south side man i'm lousy okay i'm saying the shout infamous out. hood <laughs> shout out to nuz yeah you know what i'm saying so like when okay. i was um <coughs> i really started getting serious with like being an actual artist maybe like late high school maybe like grade 10 or mm -hmm. something that's where i actually got to teach myself how to make an actual song because it was really hard for me all i knew was just writing a bunch of bars in one paper and just going battle yeah. every time when it's break time at school so like to speak when when i met him since i've always been like a more like lyrical conscious rapper when i started rapping i think when i met him i was at a point where i was kind of bored of that because i already done it a lot i just wanted to try something new something that is more musical that can appeal to a lot of people not just rappers that are just going to give you fives and say your bars are dope because yeah. i've been hearing that like almost for years you know what i'm saying so like as he was saying the guys that i was working with at that time they were just making the same thing that i knew and i was in a time where i'm trying to tr uh, transition from a certain sound to another so when i heard his stuff like i was like this, this is the shit i want and he wasn't even at his best at that time he had just started but like his mind state that he was in and what i was seeing that he's trying to do i, I actually i vibed with it and then from there we just started working like i used to fetch this guy and we'd go to somebody else's house to use their laptop to make beats for yeah, me yeah, facts. Sure. so like it was crazy bro like facts. we were so hungry bro to and we just didn't have the means <clears throat> and the equipment to do it mm. but we actually made it work you know mm. what i'm saying so so yeah. i mean for the past six years you guys are just bouncing around just trying to put work together yeah bro yeah. basically that was, that was like for for the first year it was like that because mm. i didn't have my <coughs> laptop and then 2015 I, w I was back home for a whole year I used to come up every once in a while and yeah that, 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 that was what was up I'd come up every once in a, in a while and then there was another studio in Bria where we had wait now you were back in Richards Bay I was Bay. back in Richards Bay I finished my, my third year there yeah 2014 my second year 2015 I was there f um full time I was back home full time yeah. I would come up here every once in a while you know once just every to make two music. months just to pop in and yeah yeah so when 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 do you finally i mean did you then had a laptop like equipment to work on i never had equipment i had a laptop but we we had different studios that we went to oh okay. so but it was a lot better because i could be at home making beats email mm. them to him and stuff mm. i think for most of his um the first project we did king of the south they were they were beats that i had emailed to him so yeah. I mean, you guys worked for how many years without having, without him even having a laptop to make a beats whole on? year, the first year. Yeah, the first year, and then the second year, <coughs> like he was saying, because he had to move back home. Mm. So like, I'd call him at like one a.m. I'm like, yo, bro, send a beat. Like, I need beats, and he yeah, yeah. wake up at that time, email the beats. I'll, I'll be like, shit, I'll go crazy, put it on whatever software I'm recording on, record it, send it back to him. I'm like, yo, like we were just yo, doing that yeah. back and forth. Cause he was back home then i will have those special weekends when he has time to just like drive yeah. down and come to durban from mm -hmm. from richards bay and then we'll try to make the most of that time he'll probably go out with me with my gigs where i'm booked yeah and then we'll yeah. try and finish somebody to let us use their studio and make as much songs as we can yeah. at that time wow so it was really crazy bro wow bro that's mm. like uh, that's that's so interesting and yeah. so admirable Uti, you know Irrespective of what sure. you know, Gune 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 King, a court now coming up in both in Spain, but still, mm. it's like yeah, yo, like, I sense the plan. Yeah, the know? hunger was it was it, bro, like that's what drove us because yeah. we actually just wanted to make music, you know what I'm saying? So, 
yeah it was like really crazy bro like really crazy baby and um so n- now when does he come back when do you come back came back 2016 yeah. we had um our own flat okay mm-hmm. we had our own flat and so, so you had a two year outside of durban no one year yeah. 2013 i was here first okay. year didn't make music 2014 i was here yeah. started making music 2015 went back home, home. for a year finished school mm. Came, came back, back. here 2016 okay where we were staying in the flat okay yeah um and what was that now what's th- what was the plan then the plan yeah. then um like we mm. it's the same as it always is you know grinding <laughs> music th- i yeah. think the plan never really changes when you're an upcoming artist it's always the same plan you're just progressing towards that goal getting closer to that mm. um sometimes you're gonna have setbacks and mm. and things like that but you gotta get uh, you know mm. Mm. Gotta, gotta keep uh, going at it are there any uh key moments within you know between that time when you came back from the time that you came back um that told that you saw in the work that you guys were producing in terms of the reception and De- access that you were getting yeah um, i think that 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 year <coughs> that year was definitely the biggest like you know um the the past two years have also been really dope but 2016 when we stayed in that flat and in Bria like it, with the whole gang dope artists that was when a lot of things hey happening. dope artists yeah. yeah oh my god that was a whole vibe like I used to check you guys yeah. out on Instagram yeah, like, yeah. yeah bro Facts. yeah th- those times were, were the most productive times <laughs> actually because oh everybody like it's kind of hard if because uh, like for example dope artists is not like a group mm. it's just a collective of artists with the same vision you know what i'm saying and that work together but everybody's an individual artist first mm. before the before yeah, dope, dope artists artist. so it, it was i think it was like he was saying like that year was actually a good year because we we're all in one space you know what i'm saying and we could just all creatively vibe and feed off each other's energies and create like new material every time so yeah, it was actually yeah, man. It was, it was really dope. Mm. Mm. And um, any, any other e- um, exposure that you got from off of working together and living together and making mm. music consistently like that? Yeah, I think I think so because um, there was a um, there was an event that uh, niggas were hosting every Thursday mm. at Absolute. It was first options, then it became trap out thursdays okay so every thursday go out to okay. the club and trap out thursday was focused on mm. up and coming artists you mm. know i think that was the only thing i've ever seen in terms of mm. a club thing where they focus on up and coming artists. usually they pick they and book they, and they close down they had to tear it down we don't know the we don't know the conspiracy behind it but you know <laughs> it's not here anymore today but basically <coughs> we're hosting that every thursday and a lot of uh, DJs would be there then. Mm. Um, mm. I just try to make a relationship with the DJs. Just tell them, yo, I got beats, yo, I got mm. beats. Every yeah. Thursday, yo, I got beats. Eventually, yeah. like, you know, I'm the only nigga there talking about, yo, I got beats. Eventually, when they're <laughs> like, yo, who is this nigga, yeah. you know? And um, mm. I remember the one, the first session I had was with uh, DJ Wobbly at t Bag's house. You know, yeah. t Bag's also a DJ. Yeah. And I was just playing them beats. t Bag is heavy in the game. He's crazy. Like, he's an he, OG, man. He's, he's been, been yeah, super he's OG. Been, yeah. yeah. He's been Cause contributing cause to... Because I, I was speaking to Yashna. She was also telling me yeah. that, you know... Yash, um, yeah, I met Yashna at t Bag's. Yeah. So that's enough. that's how you all, all you yeah. guys link up. Yeah. Wow. Kind of you as the link, <coughs> so... Um, after that uh, first session, and then you know, I was just sending beats frequently mm. to them, and then you know, mm. going to the studio frequently. And then T uh, Bag started. T Bag became the official DJ for Dope Artists. So then we started moving, you know, a lot more. Mm. Yeah. So now, um, okay, what uh, along the way, Dope Artist is it? What 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 happened? Um, okay, basically, how I can explain it to you, like I told you everybody's an individual first mm. so with the time that we get at times we work on the collective work but everybody was still even at that time trying to like pave their own 
you know what I'm saying, their own way in terms of like how I, I focus on Lord Script as a brand, as an artist, Celestial Mike will focus on Celestial Mike as an artist, as a brand, M Serious and the others, so forth. So in that time, because I had, oh, Celestial Mike and Dope Artist, he, he, he was the one who released his project first. Yeah. So he released his project first. And then from the work I'd been doing with Sims from those from those years he was explaining, I just kept dropping singles, dropping singles while I was working on my full length uh, project. Mm. And then I was I w- okay. And then M Series dropped his project, and then I was last to drop my project. Yeah. So, with um, <coughs> basically most of the hype came from my project because um, I was the last to drop and. With the guys that we were working with, we, we had somebody who was kind of like an investor that we were working with at that time. So the focus was kind of like, okay, since you have a fresh new project out, we're going to push your project. It had good features, you know, good production from yeah. Audio Sims. And then from there, and then we started like pushing like uh, dope artists music now. Yeah. And then, yeah, we, we did that, we did that. And then, to a, okay, we actually benefited a lot like most of the hype is like you were saying like you were seeing a lot of um of work on on social media and stuff from dope artists um and then what kind of slowed down the <coughs> process was because with people you need to first you, for example if you're going to invest in an artist you need to to be a fan of music first absolutely you need to understand that Facts. there are things that happen within music you can't Okay, for example, I take audio Sims. I'm like, okay, Sims, I'm signing you or I'm investing in you. I'm going to give you a mill. And then within there, you think just miraculously, now he's going to start generating money yeah. just because you took out money. Money it's, it's, in music yeah. doesn't come overnight. It doesn't come back Even over, if yeah. the music is good. It's good, <laughs> yeah. So it, like, come, um, it comes even, over yeah. time. Mm. Even, if, even if the money's there, like mm. I could give you a million rand as an upcoming artist, you also need to know exactly what to do with that money. Yeah. Mm. You understand? You, you can mm. buy a whole studio, buy clothes, mm. pay for mm. this and that, but there's certain things that we don't know there's that you know as up and coming artists mm. we don't know what to do except you know make nice songs yeah put them out there we don't we don't know what else we don't know the next step yeah you know and it seems like mm. people s- that know what the next step is they seem very reluctant to let niggas know what that is yeah so how do you guys feel like we can change that narrative because it, it can't always be like that uh what <laughs> It's a pale this cut so what about um I'm an artist themselves. Mm. As much as you are we are producing music, like you're making dope music and we love mm. it, people are vibing to it and you're everywhere. But like how do we bridge the gap in terms of helping the artist understand what mm. the business side of it yeah, works that's like? That's what this. I was about to say. I think you there know? has to be So that they don't mm. um get themselves in a position, position where they where they, they yeah. will think they're meeting somebody that's going to help them yeah. uh, by yeah. investing obviously but actually mm. that person themselves don't even understand the, the workings of itself, the music yeah. industry um I, I don't know really i feel like a few years ago they they, they were maybe systems in place mm. to to promote artists you know from locally if you look at the the dream, remember the dream team era? Yeah. You know, the dream team, there was Shikana, Nasty C, like all those things were happening at the same time, you know? Yeah. And I was still like g- like uh, going out more frequently then and I'd see like, okay, these people are getting booked. These people, you know, I Pe- see- they DJs ev- play their songs. They everywhere, you understand? Yeah. And after those people obviously blew up and went to Joburg, kind of like, you know, no one was next after that. Yeah. You know, I it's don't know. It's always the case I with Durban. I don't know if yeah. it's a, it, it happens. It's like a every ten years wave. Yeah. Um, but I feel like it's something that should consistently be happening. You know. Um, but then again, on the on the other side of things, it's also artists' responsibility to. It's artists' responsibility to connect themselves with the right people. Mm. You know. Yeah, that's what I, I was thinking. Like, I think artists must just educate themselves more on the music business side of it because that's that's what that's what kills the artists mm. niggas think it's just about recording music making hits that's just 
the the compulsory part of it you have to have the product first yeah. that's just the basic part of it but people need to learn i think there should be more people out there teaching more about the music industry itself how the business works yeah because when you go out there like especially with upcoming artists you'd be so shocked there are so many people that are uninformed bro like they do not know they just yeah. know that i just need to record a song release it get followers get downloads and then probably get a show here and there. On they radio. don't even know how yeah. you get paid off your music. They don't even know how songs get playlisted. You know, <coughs> they basically don't know how you make a living off music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They just, most of them, it's, I think it's also the fact that they get into music for the wrong reasons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, a, a, a subgenre like trap could be popping now and all your friends look cool because they're doing it and you sing it on TV every day and you decide it. I, I want to I wanna rap, I want to trap now, you know what I'm saying? But you basically have never known anything about music. Yeah. And then... And never mind mm, that, but like, you don't know about the culture, culture of trap. Culture of like, trap itself. Cause you know that, what I'm saying? You don't even... Trap bro, is not just music. Music, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a life, yeah, it's, it's like it's, a lifestyle yeah, on yeah, its own. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> You know? So yeah, bro, like I think people just, you just inform themselves more about music just research bro yeah. like just just know before even releasing music or even thinking of making it a legit career just mm. know what is required and what you need to know mm. you know what i'm saying i think that would actually better the industry uh, mm. were you guys around for the warehouse jam? yeah 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 we've worked a lot at the warehouse with a1 wolf and yeah. all the shout other artists there. yeah shout out to yeah that was a, a dope initi- uh, initiative yeah. That yeah. Was dope. yeah 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 and <laughs> how how much does something like that work in artists' favor? How oh. much? Do, how much? Do, if you could highlight crazy. for yourself, it like what it did for those, you guys, like those mm. two years were crazy. Mm. Those two yeah, years yeah. were crazy. Like the amount of, mm. like, like. I never knew there were so many other people that I didn't know, like other artists that I didn't know, you know. Mm. Yeah, like there was so weird, like it, it opened my eyes to how much more talent there there is there here is. than you mm. know than yeah. i could ever even mm. imagine you know yeah. i thought it was like maybe those 10 niggas that i know was <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it was, crazy it was it was really dope because like also with um it, it uh, like a shout out to aeon for doing that man like a lot Big of people out. didn't have the warehouse was kind of like a home of of artists because there's no place like that where and people really need that in durban like where we just have a place where we can actually yeah. all be there yeah, and share ideas there's a lot of people because in durban for example a lot of artists have egos in durban yeah. that's why unnecessary, that's, yeah, ego. unnecessary egos so you would be sitting like this and you're an artist i want to work with you you want to work with me but we'll end up not working because i don't want to tell you that and you don't want to tell me that because so i think stupid, i'm better you know than what I'm you saying? Yeah. it's you know, either it's, it's yeah, yeah. It's either that or we we see each other in the club like, duh, we mm, gotta work, work exchange yeah. numbers. And I hate there's nothing I hate like that club talking. Yeah, we, like, Yo, yeah. bro, we need to put in work, bro. I hate that <laughs> F- shit. Five, like, years I don't later, that. five years later. Mm. that. Five years later. Still, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> so like the warehouse kind of helped a lot a lot of people be comfortable with each other and actually see how necessary it is for Durban to actually unite and mm. and and work together. Because I think that's one. Uh, upper hand Joburg has over us those guys you see people that you clearly know that they're not friends but because yeah. they know they're in the same industry and they're doing the same thing they'll work together and yeah. they'll, they they'll the other one will put another one on they don't have to be put boys the or they don't, they don't have, yeah, yeah they, that's why Joburg keeps producing and reproducing artists every yeah. time people that like you'd see that this guy's not really that yeah. good but because of how the industry is welcoming to themselves. Yeah. They understand the necessity of that. Yeah. So if Durban can actually learn that, and that's what A1 was trying to do with that. That place helped a lot of artists that were even like satisfactory to actually learn and up their skill yeah. and get better in music. See, oh, so you need to do that when you're recording. Like you, you, yeah. you a lot of people learned no. a lot of skills. Yeah, the yeah. studio there, mm. the shows there, it was a full house for artists. You got the yeah. shows, you know, artists, um, artists were doing their own events there. We mm. did an event there with Golden Black. Yeah, yeah. Uh, got the studio there. Everything so there. there. Was, it was and you like could just come mm. there and hang out there all day, every day. It's mm. not an issue. And make music. And music. And make music. Meet probably other be artists, like ten producers, out. maybe ten artists. artists. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like people just keep going in and out of studio, in and out of studio. Yeah, man. It was. Yeah, it was really. It was really dope. And and it's good to see that you guys having strayed away from that mm. i mean you guys are still mm. pushing the same mm. vibe it's like yo we're working together yeah bro like it's 
like well for me it's just like I'm, I'm comfortable with this guy's production like yeah. i i barely get beats from other people like producers beg me to rap on their shit but like <laughs> he he understands nah. he understands he understands nah. my shit we'll like you, he sims. knows he knows yeah, my nah. sound <laughs> When I say, yo, Sims, I need something like this, he gonna make that exactly. So, like, if I'm comfortable with the producer I'm working with, because, mm. like, I even made beats. I used to make beats. But when I made him, I was like, I don't like, need I to don't make need, beats. Yeah. What if it does? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, beats, I don't yeah. need to make beats. <laughs> the crazy thing, like, he's, he, he started, kidding, like, last, last year he started, like, messing around with beats and shit. I was like, yo, he's actually getting, starting to get fired now. So, I was like, oh, shit, I need to up my shit. Stop doing Hold on, hold on. So, yeah, bro, like... Yeah, man, we've 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 worked on a lot of crazy stuff. With mm. Like even like he was saying, the the last project uh, I released, uh, my first project, my debut, it's called King of the South. Mm. Yeah, majority of it is produced by him. Yeah, because where can people find it? Uh, it's on it's on iTunes and Audio Mac. Mm. Yeah, that's like my previous e uh, my previous EP. I'm gonna release something. Thing is, I've been very skeptical about releasing because I feel like why we just keep taking out bodies of work without a plan like do we put in work for this music so i think for me it's not enough to just release music and people are like, oh shit what a dope yeah, tape yeah, after yeah. that it's just I like gone in the yeah. wind like that then i have to release something else because yeah. i put in i put in work i put in time i put in concepts mm. and money when i work on something you know what i'm saying i think, so, I think with i think mm. with the last one also mm. a lot of money was put into it yeah. like we had yeah mm. i think it was booked out 47 yeah that's like you know you booked out 47 Niggas yeah like to do a launch for a launch yeah that was my launch and my birthday as well so that was mm, yeah, it was, that it was, was really, it, was really it, 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 it cost a whole lot and not getting you know even mm. a half or, or, or that or, back you know yeah. to take you know that'll take it to a as much as i understand how necessary it is because like it's not only about me my fans want my music as well yeah. but like I understand also the work that it takes you know what i'm saying i can't <laughs> just like release a project now it's it's mm. january okay it's buzzing maybe the whole of February, March, and then, okay, I'm not generating money of it. Okay, fine, it's hot. Cause from the last one, I got a lot of, uh, yeah. I've got a, like a lot of hype. Like a lot of things happened from just yeah. dropping that project. You, you know, um, mm. speaking about that, like, you know, putting out work and it mm. flying over people's heads. Mm. Um, I feel like there's a lot of that happening and mm. it's purely because of, um, I just feel like the major platforms mm. that, that obviously, where me people find music which is radio and mm. tv and all those kind of yeah. things it's like you know this we they are too focused on certain people or yeah, just yeah, yeah. Certain, yeah, individuals certain individuals and, yeah and it just becomes about that and we don't get to hear mm. variety mm. so mm. to say like not everyone is either caspa or aka, AKA yeah, yeah. It, it, there's more yeah. than that like True. Oh, just Ricky Rick. Yeah. yeah. No. no offense. And the thing they, is, every time, good, look at like, yeah, if you, you know? if you look at it, every time they've taken a chance, every time they take a chance, a new artist, a superstar comes out. Exactly. You understand? They took a chance. MT came out. Took a chance. Nasty C came out. You understand? Aries. You know, every time. Uh, every time. Every yeah, time. So how Rouge. can you? How can you? Mm, they just need to how be open. How, can, to how can you do something five and six, five or six times, and it works? perfectly and then you stop do like it's working yeah. keep yeah. doing it and you know and they there's, still, there's still a whole mm. country of people we still haven't even heard a lot of uh, rappers from cape town from exactly you know what i'm saying and and here we are we getting you all understand? hyped up about mm. durban rappers and that's what i actually hate because mm. this system of theirs is actually what's making south african hip-hop suffer yeah because like music the, in general like, yeah bro yeah. but like specifically hip-hop because if you see if you see if you see the era where like um new artists were just flowing in like like the year where casper blew up mm. uh the year when nessie blew up because there wasn't any i feel like type of agendas of okay now we control how mm. a certain person comes in or whatever like the hip hop, hip hop was actually do you remember how big hip hop was in 2015 yeah, south african hip hop people the it reception even, Kara Kara you know what i'm yeah, saying we were coming from an era where crazy we were coming from an era where house is the yeah, first priority. Priority. I was used to dominate. So for hip hop to dominate parties and 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 and, and, and just be the playing industry, in clubs, to be playing in the club in that rate, so it was dope. And I feel like now, if you look yo, at these two, you know, when you do, mm. you're taking me back, Bro, I remember there was like, a track by 
uh, hang out. It was called hang out. Uh, DJ Spitzer, hang out. Oh, bro. God, you see that year? Like, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I yeah. feel like it, like that, that, wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. It's, it's, they, they, it's the control. They must just let it be, bro. This yeah. Can I challenge you, niggas? Well, I, yeah. I'll challenge you. Can't we do like um, a, a remix? Like a remix? Like why don't people do remixes anymore? Like a remix? You can't do a remix of a song from 2015, right? No, now. no, no. Obviously, oh, okay. but like I mean, but you mean if like we so make, if you guys make something mm. that's mm. hot and like it's really, mm. really, really mm. hot, and, yeah. then and like I remember back in the days, like remember the all I do is win remix. Win. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should have video for something like that. Right, something like oh, yeah. that. Yeah. God. That's but all I do is win has to be fire first. Yeah. First, yeah. yeah. Before you, you know? I mean, yeah. that's why we got you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At least if yeah. these niggas suck on the bars, I know the beat is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, and yeah, bro, like, I feel like it's crazy, man. They just need to let the young blood, bro, take mm. over, man. They yeah. just need to open the door I for the young blood. Because, like... And, and the thing is, it's not like... I, I wish I could say that we moving as, as, as fast as... Mm overseas like with the internet where these kids don't need tv at all yeah i wish i could say in six months south africa's gonna be like that i wish i could say in a year south africa's gonna be like, but it doesn't yeah. look like that bro yeah nah. bro. Let's still very still very tv dependent and yeah and, you and know, it's and mm. you know the data prices are to blame for that also yeah mm. being raped for data you, you, you know you know what i'm saying i'm like yo even with this with this podcast it's like yo i i've realized it like in, uh, you need to be patient to start off with. Yeah. Like in South Africa, there are th- maybe, let's say, out of the population of 53 something million, yeah. mm. um, let's say only 10 to 13 million people have access to, to, to internet. internet. Yeah, yeah. And on top of that, you mm. still got to count. Mm. Uh, people that just mm. focus on WhatsApp. WhatsApp doesn't count, really. Exactly. Yeah. Um, it's there's crazy. There's still you know? people. Who, there's still people who aren't on YouTube at all. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The only the only thing on the uh, on internet is social media. So, yeah, social media. No YouTube yet. Yeah. No spot like yeah. Yeah. Spotify, Spotify yeah. selling SoundCloud. music <laughs> online and thinking. <laughs> you know. That's, that's but it, it's but an advantage for some other people because Maskandi wins with that though. Like yeah. a general, like Muscandy wins with that. Yes, you but you go saying? there looking for it already. You already, you're not gonna, you never found mm. them there. Listen, listen. You never found Kuzani on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, you know, you don't see, find that, those that's the there. thing. Mm. That's that's the thing here that mm. we miss. We miss um, to acknowledge mm. where's the majority of the people mm. looking. Yeah, where? So, mm. obviously, um, the main genre, like Muscandy does relatively well. Yeah. You know? In any mm. so if maybe mm. the online that's why I like for me I, I embrace all types of music same yeah um, so if if it's it's a good thing if we Utalama being and now they moving their things online because then that's gonna get majority of the population, population online to online stuff and then yeah, that yeah, creates you, a, an you, opportunity for for everybody else yeah. also yeah so that's why I, like you know, when you see. No, no offense to any other person who eloquates or kunumis gis, whatever. Sure. Or who uh, delivers the atiake and gis. Yes, it's fine. Nice, sure. But it's a we still it's important. It's imperative that we we get artists like Ustjaba. Ustjaba, yeah. Uh, like Abu Utsehu, you know, yeah. someone who sings in local mm-hmm. language. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. So they can bring mm. the message. The message if, if the music to is online yeah, to our platforms, I feel you. I feel people you. People are gonna make a plan make to it find to it. To find it, yeah. You know, and yeah. that's why it's like Latin music in South Africa. We streamline music. Mm. Music it doesn't have to be in any language to start off with. Mm. Yeah, it could yeah. be in any language. Mm. If it's good, it's good. It's good. Yeah. I listen to somebody singing in spanish and i enjoy the yeah, song, enjoy I'm the song. Yeah, yeah, if it's dope it's dope you even a lot of people <laughs> like like uh coolie chat is my top 10 rappers i've never heard a word he's <laughs> not a word devil hp is a yeah, yeah. Is a yeah. Legend. yeah. rest mm. in peace all right mm. yeah. uh, but some people don't understand some of the things you were saying you because saying, of the yeah. any language yes so i i just feel like we need to get over that and it in order it starts with us stop hating ourselves. Like yeah. black people see mm-hmm. it's on that. Like especially yeah. here. It's like everyone is trying to find hip hop 
mm. comes from the from states. the states yeah. yeah but ain't no need need for it to sound like exactly. the states <laughs> we need mm. to make it our our own, own yeah, f- yeah well. or even just because pillar hip-hop is a language bro you know what i'm saying like it can be it can be spoken in so many ways mm. like we can do it our own way and you no know, Mm. And like you know, I was I was speaking to uh, June earlier. Mm. I was telling him that you know, there's something I like when a rapper or a singer is gonna sing maybe in English, English, and then mm. while I'm thinking, mm. and I'm having an idea, and then, and then, then in between, up. I just switch up. I'm like, yo, oh, mm. sure. you, you I feel you. I feel you. Know? <laughs> So as soon as we start, you know, start thinking more along those lines, mm. everything ends really. Trust yeah. me, we can snai yeah. 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 And even so, in Joburg, like I'd, I'd like to for artists to start thinking in a manner of which, okay, I can make it here. I can make it here, yeah. I just need to find the right people. And mm. obviously, you guys, you've been at it mm. for six years mm. without anything. Anything. Yeah, mm. that whole something you cannot take that for granted. So mm. that means Nina in the game right now you have roles to play. Yeah. When you see a young boy, well, don't be too scared to put them in line mm. or tell them the truth and be like, yo, shit. Then to you say, we are that boy. It's out. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, you n- we let them niggas know, man. <laughs> you know, and give each other advice. Mm. Mm. Don't you like mm. it, in order to grow the game, we need to people need to stop making the mistakes that were made Maybe by previous, previous people. people. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, well, so it's funny it growth mm. what is cool mm. so um this year i mean you guys live in a fucking studio <laughs> 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 so only for, like, for those whole six, uh, like those mm. whole six years i've <coughs> only had my own studio for two the first four years just grinding grinding, grinding just grinding. up and down yeah, yeah. So now going to w- working to build a studio mm, exactly. yeah. so i had to start recording and mixing last year mm. you know never really into it yeah, yeah. yeah never really i was never really into it even still I mean, it's not really my piece of cake or my cup of tea but yeah, yeah. you're getting better he's <laughs> getting it he's getting it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well like yeah. i can I, I can put in my mm. two cents and uh, you yeah. doing a great job, dog. Yeah, thanks. I yeah, bro. Uh, this year, hey, we're going to release a lot of work. I mean, uh, like I was telling you, I was a bit skeptical. I was supposed to release a project like this past year, like maybe November, December. Mm. But I changed my mind because of this being a phone. I bought the traffic here, go home, and I'm up here. No, it's going to get released. Get caught, yeah. get yeah, caught in the so storm. So I was like, no, it's fine. Let me just let the new year start and then yeah, I'll take it from there. Mm. So... Yeah, if you see mm. when you see that season, even the hip hop artists they're mm. making yeah. a piano and come anyway. Mm. So it's so why it is why it is. is that though? Like I mean, mm. okay, but uh, let me shut up. I guess <laughs> it's people's prerogative to yeah, do what yeah, they, they feel they like feel, doing. Yeah. I, I mean, as a creative, if you feel like yo, that's what I'm I'm moved with now. Mm. That's another thing. Like you know, I feel like we box too. M- People, people too, too much. much yeah so that's why like for me i don't have a problem with yeah i listen to casper and if he wherever he is if it's good it's good if it sucks, it sucks, it sucks. It sucks yeah, yeah, yeah if, well. if something's nice it's nice but then again doug you know we, we also want to turn up doug you know yeah. we also want to turn up summer to some hip-hop you know mm. i like to see like if we if we um like people that are big house musicians, if they see that yo hip hop's busy coming up, they start making hip hop. They kind of, you know, we supposed to be the new niggas coming, getting money. So there's a lot of young niggas, I'm a piano and gum niggas that, that were supposed to get paper instead of hip hop niggas that you already have hip hop <laughs> money. You know, yeah, could have been a young gum nigga getting that. Yeah, paper you, you, uh, you you got a point. Yeah, you yeah. got a point. Like. It's not fair when all the big artists are jumping on to every new wave. Every new wave, yeah. yeah you know, like yeah. at the end of the day, you got to... Yeah, but it just shows who you really are, man. Like, <laughs> we know the people that are about the culture. If you're really about it, you you never sell out, man, because it's in your hearts before anything else. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah. There's so nothing wrong with me. Mm, mm, you know, there's, a, there, mm. there's, a, there's such a thin line between selling out and... Mm. and just being a diverse a artist. Diverse artists, I don't even yeah. know, know exactly mm. what it is, mm. but... It's, it's, um, yeah. it's it's up to you as an individual like do I like this or do I not like, like that? that you yeah. know there's certain yeah. 
mm. people that took art hip hop artists that did come and um, did ama piano yeah, and I liked yeah. it so mm. you know but it it makes sense when they do it for example like like i was saying me i'm i'm a fan of music in general yeah. regardless of any genre if 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 the sound is dope it's dope yeah, you cannot so, dispute it you know what i'm saying so if for example the pop artist was to feature me in a pop song i would do what i do in a pop song mm. so i'm basically binding two cultures now it's pop and hip hop you know yeah. what i'm saying but i will never completely desert hip hop because now pop is the new dopest <laughs> thing in the in 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 the country or in yeah. the world and then all of a sudden all i'm doing i'm just i'm a pop yeah. artist i'm mm. michael jackson now yeah. everybody always knew that i rap so I'm about the let me let, let me yeah. let me ask you guys. Uh, let me just a, this is just a thought I have mm. always had. Like not always. I, mm. I just caught recently, and it's mm. been in my mind. Yeah. Do you see guys? Do you guys see Casper releasing another hip hop album? <laughs> I just I've been meaning to ask that. Like uh, to somebody. Here's the thing, dog. One thing about Casper, dog. The nigga's dope as a hip hop artist. Yeah. He, the nigga is dope. He's a dope performer, and he's just a he's a dope hip hop artist, right? Mm. Uh, hey, uh, like he said, he's gonna do one this year, I think, and you know. But do you we'll see, see we'll he, we'll he, he didn't say it's a hip hop album. Yeah, I he just said. It, it, oh, he just said I'm rapping this year, or whatever. No, he said he's dropping a project. Like I think I don't know, but yeah. he wasn't specific. No, nah, but a, a lot of his, a lot of, a lot of the stuff like, he does like outside of hip hop is features though. Mm. Like uh, yeah, but the Quito, the Quito stuff is. Been, to me, he's a Quito artist. That's yeah. yeah. Now to me, like I can't. Yeah. I'm See, like, that's, that's why mm, I'm asking. Yeah, cause that, I mean, the last no, time Casper put out yeah. a, a hip hop project was mm. with ooh, mm. what's what's what what is, was it? Refilo. Yeah, yeah. What is the yeah. second one? Tuto. Yeah, yeah, Tuto. Was Tuto. Tuto. Yeah. Tuto was dope though. If you listen to the whole Tuto. album, it's it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a it's a dope project. Uh, you know, the name yeah, is dope. But that was the rapping. last time not we actually rapped. Like mm. like you know. like we we. He's not Eminem, <laughs> but his niggas can rap. Because bro, <laughs> you know? like w- how I feel is, bro, if you consider yourself a person in the hip hop culture, fine, you can work and be diverse. Because like yeah. I always say, I don't feel like I'm a rapper. I'm an artist. Yeah, I make music. So at relevant times where I have to diverse my sound i will do it but i will still remain back at home i at least if i call myself a rapper of some sort i at least need to release a rap song yeah. at a certain point but i'm releasing music yeah. you, you know you, like even you're getting this, you uh, get your AKA fans confused when i see people uh comparing cast like mm. i don't know if they still do that but like mm. for me when casper started switching mm. and and like he switched his whole sound Mm. For me, I was like, yo, AKA is still producing records mm. you could consider more hip hop than, yeah, you know. Mm. Even though with him, he mm. did sort of go on a tangent somewhere. Yeah, mm. I, I, that's a th- there's a thing, dog. That's <laughs> another thing that kind of that stops me from from judging niggas or, or mm. whatever. It's just me as a hip hop mm. fan. There's something that I, as a fan of this person, there's some certain things that I expect from them yeah. and things that I like about them as a hip hop uh, artist you yeah. know mm. the, it's hard to judge niggas dog cuz you've never been in that position where okay there's millions at stake you have to have a hit this summer, summer mm. yeah. you know you have to have yeah, a hit this true. summer that that I can you got all these brands yeah. Yeah. behind you you need a hit this summer you need to stay relevant doing a hip hop song might be a risk it might not pop off but there's something that's definitely going to pop off cuz that's the wave right now oh, yeah. so compromising and you uh niggas ain't getting that, that uh, american kind of paper where i'm gonna do whatever i do y'all do i'm getting my paper here anyway because yeah. i've got all these fans in my f- my, my shows are full yeah Nig- the niggas here share fans bro yeah that's true niggas here share like, fans bro like you know I, I i can't believe it took this long for you know to just because now after it was like oh okay i know cares passed that at the wave with mm. the whole fill up vibes and so th- suddenly everyone started seeing yo i can actually can pull off a one man show. show yeah and now yeah. we're seeing more, more and more and more one man shows and those java is just taking that to a next level yeah definitely uh, you you have to have you have to have a lot of you have to have a big body of work mm. you know two two mm. dope albums deep at least mm. two or even yeah. just like proper influence bro like you have to yeah. have like yeah no like I'm, I'm talking about mm. material wise to to mm. be on stage for two, two hours, hours. Yeah. Just yeah. Got, you got a band it's just mm. you 
you have you need like yeah, at need least two two, two, two dope albums you know <laughs> yeah. two dope albums yeah but uh, yeah it's it's doable bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's doable. It's, it's doable. doable. Yeah, it's doable. You know, yeah, but me, bro, I'm, I like, I'm mad at how people like are making the kid. I feel like people are diluting the game, bro. Like, if you are a core fan of hip hop, you know there are things that are no nos. For example, like I was looking at how me, I don't understand. Maybe you all understand, like yeah. how even they they put um, this hand. Who's this hand on the MC list? Which um, Munchal? Um, not Munchal. Did you see the top ten MTV? Nah, Ooh. I didn't see it. Dog. The new wave. Ooh, who's who's this Han? Uh, uh, the the PD Han. Who's that Han? Show my Josie. Show my Josie. How is she on oh, that on man. that MC's oh. list? Cause first of all, she's not an MC. She's not an MC. Oh, yeah. there's yeah. like okay. I've had this argument with a lot of my friends. There are people that feel like she is an MC because nah. she can rap. Okay, I was. She this rap. is what I was okay. like. Okay. If you if you are mm. featured on one mm. rap song, so one or two rap songs, but you bro, are not me, a rapper, you're not a rapper. You can for example, that's what I'm saying. For example, but there is an argument to be had, though. No, wait, bro, you, you can are, rap. You a, could know how to no, rap. No, no, no. What's an MC? An MC, bro. Yo, Someone who raps. It's somebody who raps. Not, 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 not. I'm rapping today, and I'm not rapping for the rest for, of the for year. The ra- no, an MC I'm is somebody who. Who consistently raps? Not it doesn't even need to be that deep. Like, yeah. bro, you cannot. For or at example, least be I a hip hop artist. At least, yeah. Have be a, be a, she be a doesn't even artist. have a song out. She doesn't have a hip hop song out. That's how I know. Yeah. Because those are the songs of hers we know. That's how she came out. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, Chris Brown can rap. Yeah. But, but he, we know her as an R&B artist. We know yeah, what Chris Panwiak told. He won't be, you won't be on the top. T- you even, if, even if yeah. he has a, a hot rap song, he had mm. the one year he had like a number one rap. And that Look at me now. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't on the list. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. He never won. You know what I'm saying? The there are a lot of people I can tell you that I know that, are, that's, that can rap, but they sing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Telemann can actually rap. You'd be shocked. He can rap. But he's not a rapper. He's not a you rapper. Can't yeah. Come now, put in just because you, when you were having your party with your you friends, think, you heard him yeah. rap, and then now or you, you decide. Think, yeah. Or you would think. And now you decide. Yeah, he, he, here's the thing, though, because the top ten MCs list, like when you say Telemann, mm. I feel like even Telemann could be there because Telemann is making hip hop music. Mm. And never mind that. Like you know, with these lists, mm. I always feel like it's about Joburg. Y- yeah. Everything mm. is about, like you cannot tell me just because you looked around Joburg now that's the representation of the whole country. The can, yeah, yeah, but no yeah, ways. yeah, but you when you do that list, it is on MTV, and it 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 has to be if someone from Cape Town's watching the MTV, they can't watch the top ten list and be like, who's that? Because Durban yeah. artists right now are who's that? Yeah. So once we're there, Doug, once yeah, a nigga's there, you understand? Yeah. Nasty C wasn't there in 2014 or 2013. He was there 2016 once his songs play on MTV. On MTV. You understand? It's an MTV list. Yeah. Mm. That, that's why like, I don't take them seriously, to be honest. Yeah, now I'll say me I did at first, but then uh, 2018, <laughs> they didn't put a Reese on there. I was like, if, okay. If you're coming at me and you come at me with these lists. Lists, these uh, lists, like, like uh, how can that... Like, like, I was shocked. If, if there's no representation of the whole country... You mm. cannot tell me what you have 10 MCs that are dope. Oh, I was a goal. They're all based in Joburg. Joburg. And you tell me you would, if you take those artists, all those 10, and you go to each and every, uh, not each and every, go to Durban, bring mm. them to Durban. You mean to tell me they'll still stay St- as the, as the, the best MC? In the country. Nah. Cause Cause no. They don't not here, maybe somewhere mm. else. They don't no. realize. Definitely Woody not here. Since no. their platform is big. They actually represent the whole country. They don't. I don't know if they don't understand yeah. that. Good and and that's like you selling mm. a wrong. You selling the wrong image mm. to uh, to the rest of it the world. Yeah. If you are saying these are the best, yeah, South like South same here, bro. This I mean is South African hip hop. Yeah, come on. For yeah. for somebody that comes, imagine how it looks from somebody who comes from outside South Africa, and then he says, "Okay, I'm taking time now. I'm listening to these ten rappers that you say are the hardest in 2019." How much disappointment will no p- way. They're, they're obviously like, not getting the full listen, diversity listen, of... Listen, I'll tell you this. Um, mm. Ebro mm. came here to do interviews for Apple Music. Oh, Ebro. Mm. Yeah, mm. And, and he had... How many hip-hop artists did he have? Mm. He had... I think Shane was Shane and A and uh, Nasty C. Mm. Uh, I don't know who was the... Okay. And then it was his job. 
Sure. Okay. Can Java is a big music icon, but as far as, as, as hip hop is, is concerned, concern, yeah. that shows you off the leg because mm. I mean, if you yeah. come into the country and they give you a list, list of who's, who's hot, hot yeah. in this country, bro, like you're most likely is going to pick Nasty C, yeah, Shane Eagle, yeah. and then you're gonna look who's doing equal as those two in this country, country and, and there's no one there's the, clo- no one, yeah. the mm. person who's yes. doing more or equal yeah. is was java yeah. another True. thing another thing i've always thought that's about that's because of these yeah. lists these lists yeah. yeah and another thing i've always thought about list the, the sa top 10 to keep it all the way 100 there's barely 10 of you niggas to choose from mm. yeah there's barely 10 like of you niggas i to looked choose at from. the uh the the new wave list oh yeah 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 can you then check can you check that for me i don't know that one i heard there was a kid who was like yo fuck these niggas i'm i'm <laughs> you wanted to be top five apparently it's number six or something <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you know? laughs> oh, oh, yeah. something like that too he, he, he yeah. tell MTV, well, he's like, yo fuck yeah. yo i ain't in the list apparently he was in the list or somebody he was, oh, in he the was top number five, six yeah. or something he wasn't oh in the top my five god hey, that's wild <laughs> Shit. Wait, 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 actually this <laughs> 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 I we bumped this shit. He's actually nice. Yeah, yeah, bro. I think like another person. I think mm. they that's like aside. I fucks mm. with on that list. It was like Lucas raps. Yeah, and yeah, I feel like Lucas and Loki could have been in there. Yeah, mm. but like yo, it's like um. Mm. Who was na- was it was it was it in numerical order like this is the number one? I don't was know. Was it just ten of them? I don't know if it was there. Yeah. Focalistic, I I fucks with him, but I'm not sure if he's he's okay. there. Uh, yeah, I've, he's heard, there. I've heard the he's name. Though. I think I listened to a song. There's another thing with Focalistic. He's moving with major league DJs, and, and they, I just feel like they they're trying to make him another Casper. Mm. You know, cause they, they like yo listen. I listen to um. He's, I don't know it's, if it's a mixtape or an EP. Um, where it's like five, it's got like five tracks. Yeah. And it's dope. I like his, I like this sound. It's nice. And then all of a sudden, he's all over my piano. Mm. Oh, it's nice. I'm bad. like, yo. And now, I feel like some people in the country, they know him as a, a piano, a it piano does, artist. Does, does. Look, listen to what, listen to what happened to me, right? Me, uh, Moonchild, yeah. right? Apparently, Moonchild, oh, what's she from here? Is she from here? Yeah, she's, yeah, from, she's from here. From she's from Durban. She's actually from the Eastern Cape, and Eastern but Cape. she, yeah. she, she, she lived in Durban. The first time I heard Moonchild was with Com. I thought she's a new Com artist, right? Yeah. And they th- told me, like, she's on some, like, she's been making other kinds of music, but I only know her for that. Like, for I yeah. know Moonchild is a Com artist. Mm. That's so why it's very tricky, bro. Like, it's very how important you introduce how you yourself. come out or how you introduce yourself. Like, I was even this other day, like, I was talking to a friend of mine about um, the Upist. Upist, bro, is a dope ass oh, rapper, bro. Underrated. Yeah. You know, fire. If you know how underrated. dope that nigga is, bro, like, but like, I feel like underrated. how we Afro has introduced him, like, in terms of course, the, the songs that are big and people that know him are way cool, mm. but they're actually bigger than his own single. Actually, level. you know, when, when, mm. when Naves and, and mm. Spey were here, when he mm. was working with us, I thought maybe that was gonna come good, but like, when I heard, like, what what they were putting out and mm. how they were working mm. with him, I was mm. like, I'm not happy. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it it just mm. turned him to some vocalist for house. It's yeah, house, like and house that guy, bro, like that that nigga's dope. That and meanwhile, he's, super, he's like got his, his crazy lyricist, bars, like his bro. Pen, his pen <laughs> game is, is yeah. lit. So like, it's very important. Do you bro, think the timing me, though? Because mm. okay, is it is it fair for me to say, Beast, like he blew up 2018, 2019, right? Yeah, mm. that's come. I'm a piano. Uh, time, era. time yeah. right? Uh, uh, let's say era. You know, maybe yeah. this December, maybe there'll be something else. Mm-hmm. We don't know, but he was as as a hip hop artist. He he blew up in that era, and you know, like the same thing that I was saying. Like yo, you have to make paper this summer. Yeah, that's you understand. True. <laughs> yeah, at the end that's of the day, true. we can't change that. Yeah. You, you money. You're like you yeah, have to yeah. get, and especially when you signed yeah. mm. or you work working with. Forty. Sometimes it happens. Some like major label. I think that's also another pressure. You see, when you've been in the game for long, mm. like yo, bro, the pressure gets to you. You know what I'm saying? So when an opportunity like that comes, you feel like obligated to take it because you know, bro, hey, I've been. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been waiting for this one. You know what I'm saying, and a nigga ain't growing any younger. 
yeah, well, so a lot of I think that's also another thing yeah, yeah. that that makes artists sign like like bad deals because yeah. it's like they know what yeah. you yeah. know what I mean they 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 know what I mean and then but because of the position or even if they don't go to a contract mm. like like it's more like okay get mm. you in maybe when our cause of focus we put contract they're like okay but when you want you inside mm. you find yourself moving in a different, different direction, direction. Yeah, like yeah 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 you know because so you're yeah. just an asset mm, yeah, just yeah. to boost other artists, other artists yeah. it's like yo okay my my page if you know it's gonna track us so we don't need to pay pay sure you know, sure that sure type of art but like i hope nobody kills me for that this is just my yeah. opinion <laughs> someone someone said once uh the music industry isn't des- designed to make you rich it's, desi- it's designed for you to make them rich <laughs> exactly <laughs> you understand <laughs> It isn't designed to make it's not it's not to making make this artist money mm. it's using this artist uh, to make can. money i go I sell them i take him that and i give you a, a, a very you small g- percentage you get of something that. now in yana mm. for yeah. your troubles so now i think it, it's it's a lot harder when like being independent like, South yeah, Africa. Yeah, like I mm. respect Possible. an artist that's independent like for ex- about like how Shane Eagle did it yo bro yo. it's very hard bro like like yes. it's very it's very 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 hard bro but you know what i like i like that he's he showed that it's possible mm. yeah yeah that's you know? that's what it that's definitely what it, that does it's mm. possible because and I, I think it's also goes with opening your mind and not just looking here mm. you know so yes just because you're not hot here doesn't mean you're not hot you're hot yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. have the internet now mm. you know just by having something online it opens you up to a whole new audience because mm. now we have youtube and you know people talk about stuff and true and if we could if if a channel like this could get an audience overseas and this we're speaking about this type of music and it's available on the internet someone can just straight up go now hear it now hear about it now and go and look at it look yeah up, that broadens the audience so we have the the luxury of that now Definitely. but like obviously like you said bills need to be paid and stuff like that yeah, so man. Yeah. Patience. Niggas yeah, got yeah. sons to feed, bro. <laughs> it's, heavy, it's crazy yeah. out here. <laughs> yeah. One Yo. thing, one thing I d- I want to see in Durban 2020 is more shows, bro. More hip hop shows. Mm. Yeah. You know, last uh, year the warehouse kind of closed down. There's still shows and whatever, but it was more like, you know, businessy stuff and yeah. um, weren't necessarily hip hop events and stuff. I want to see more hip hop mm. events or artists link up like it used mm. to be. You know. Yeah. Um, like that. Mm. That's where you're gonna get most of your support from, you know. I, I, I feel seeing, like Durban seeing is someone ready. perform. Yeah, yeah. I think seeing what, what needs to be done is we sh- artists need to do their own things now, like because I think we spend so much time waiting for platforms to be made for us yeah. where we can actually do something together. You're telling me like ten artists getting together, we can't do like a concert, Yo, knowing each other, all of us, and the following that I have, the following Audio Sims has, the following Skindy has. Like, like even mm. listen. Even if uh, you could make a show where, mm. okay, still like it's still out of the pocket. But like, once mm. uh, I think w- when when I had a skin on the podcast, he was mm. talking about like you know if you get booked to the club, you bring your own audience. Oh, yeah, 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 just yeah, to true. Yeah, come yeah, turn yeah, up yeah. and yeah, you know create mm. just that just vibe. Create that yeah. vibe, yeah. You know, and yeah, you 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 kind of have to cheat the. The mm. club, the club vibe like that by bringing all your mm. niggas with you and shit. Mm. And I actually have a, a homie of mine that's a club DJ, and this is what he told me, Doug. You know, because we were like, I was like, Yo, Doug, you should book niggas, Doug. What's popping? I always got all these other artists, big artists. You never book up and coming. He's like, Doug, this is how a club works. Doug. People came there to turn up and hear songs that they already know that are their favorite songs, yeah. right? Now you and all your niggas jumping on the stage now is weird. They don't know you. <laughs> you, you understand <laughs> it, it's you gotta, awkward you, you kind of you, you gotta catch the hype first uh, yeah and i get it though at the end of the day it's business and you know yeah yeah mm. and you gotta the people that come to the club are but clients the, basically but the djs also mm. they have a role to play to play yeah before that's before you yeah. even guys get on stage like what's wrong with um you playing more local music, music like if yeah. you if you if you're a dj you, you have a residency in a club here in durban Make it a thing. Mm. If all DJs uh, made it a thing, if all hip hop DJs, I'm speaking more specifically to hip hop, mm. if you're a hip hop DJ, make it a thing. 
to find artists from du- from Durban mm. to get material from yeah. to play wherever, wherever you, you play. Yeah. You play. Yeah. And for artists, open the door f- to give your music to DJs. To, to DJs yeah. And and one way uh, I was speaking to another artist on this podcast, with James, he was telling me about. Uh, we were talking about uh, having a DJ's cut. You know when you're making music? Yeah, you DJ pack, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. where you have yeah, the, the instruments so separate from the vocals yeah. so that gives them more, more yeah, yeah. something, more yeah, they can be more creative. Yeah, yeah. That's how it's supposed to be actually when you, know, you release a single. That should be mm. a thing. Yeah, mm. it should That's be. That's why I was saying like it's all these things that artists need to inform themselves yeah. about. These are all important factors. You know what I'm saying? You know. Yeah. Because I, I feel like, you know, because DJs have access to venues mm. and they play and they have access to the crowd. Mm. And always we cannot deny the fact that, you know, when you turn up, you know, mm. almost everything sounds good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> true. That's how people's songs <laughs> stuck, get stuck in our heads because yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you know, keep hearing it in the club three lit, or four yeah. times. You don't even like the song. You know, you somebody, know you don't somebody like asked me, Wuti, mm. why is it gum so popular? Like, mm. I'm like, yo, when you're in the club, that shit is playing mm. the yeah. whole yeah, fucking, fucking night. T- yeah. So yeah. obviously, by the time boom, uh, you brainwashed this, yeah. this thing is yeah. just Stuck pounding in your head. In your head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, like hip hop DJs, you've got some work to do. Mm. Speak to these guys. We've got social media now. There's no reason for one to say, oh, I can't, I, I can't get a I hold, of this, get a hold of this guy. Yeah. I don't believe there's an artist that's going to say, yo, f- uh, no, fuck you. I'm not going to give you my music if you say you're a DJ. Mm. If you are pr- your approach is right, you're like, yo, I'm a DJ. I've got a residency at XYZ. So you're one that mm, artist. That, yeah. You know, with that approach, if an mm. if a, if I'm a DJ, I'm like, yo, uh, scripts, listen, I'm a DJ, I've got a residency mm. at n- at a place in Florida Road. End of conversation. Yeah. yeah. Whatever I, I say. Think, uh, yeah, I think another thing if I um, say, give me your music, uh, I need music, fresh music. I wanna introduce people to fresh local music. Yeah. And let me hear some let of your stuff some to shit. pick from, you know. Mm. I think they also, they kind of underestimate what people want, yeah. right? Because now in their mind, yo, people want they think a they piano want right now. They so don't just complain, they don't, yeah, they at least. Don't, they, don't, they, they don't even take that, at least take the chance, yeah, get booed. Yes. You know, what's this, mm. g- like, get, get yeah. but yeah. because they've been, people, yeah. people also, they've been also hearing I'm a piano the whole night. They also want some other Something shit. Other shit. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Not, not everyone in the crowd listens to I'm a but piano. Yeah, no, yeah. They, you know? they do by force. And no, yeah, by force, yes. But like, I mean, if you put on a nice hip hop track, track, yeah, yo, track. everybody's. Listen, in. yo, mm. when you're in the club and a, 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 a track like. Mm. Uh, Raga, 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 raga. Mm. Yeah. Everybody stands the stands, fuck yeah. up, bro. It's like yeah, yo, on your feet. It goes hard, yeah. Even mm. if you don't vibe with mm. hip hop. Because another thing that's nice about hip hop, it's not, uh, it doesn't have a specific dance choreography like Chore- yeah, piano yeah, yeah. where yeah. you just gotta wild know. Out, it's yeah. it's just, sometimes you could just be jumping around, yeah. having fun. Chance, uh, I think that's time for now. Hi, so right now. We can go on all night. <laughs> yeah, it's been dope, man. It's uh, been dope. Thanks, thanks for coming. Uh, uh, thanks for having us, bro. You know, you know what I like. I, I like this. I like doing this because mm. I get to meet people that are behind. Um, mm. The for me, music is life. Yeah. Everything, most of the things that I do, more specifically, that are closer to. Increase the way I'm. I was doing it and like nanyuk chima man. Sure. Chima strong. Sure. And mang chima. Music. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah well, and obviously great music. And mm. you you guys yeah. deliver. Yeah. <laughs> what what have you been listening mm. to lately? Uh lately I've been listening to Yashna's project, which oh is something okay. that you worked on. Mm. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Uskin Uskin sends me some of the magic that you guys are the cooking. King in oh the okay. studio. In the yeah. studio. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? And the monk that is all about monk. They shandies. I was like, yo, no, I can't. I can't. Yeah, you feel so exclusive. How exclusive do you feel? They're like, you don't understand, boy. It's unreleased. What's your What's your favorite Kindy song right now? It's a dog. It's a pesha, dog. And your niggas are shooting the video without me. <laughs> then it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. That's right. Watch out for Isul Sapesha, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's, a yeah, sing- it's a single from. I'm allowed to say that. 
Am I allowed to say that? Skin. Young nigga permission. Oh shit. This is a pesh, yeah. It's called Uskindi, Utino, uh Dando. And obviously the man himself right here in front of me production. So it's real. We this thing ends it. So when you hear skin uskindi or nizu sapesh, go ahead and get it. Make sure you get it. <laughs> and the video is going to drop out at the same time with the song? Uh, most probably. Most probably. <laughs> See, that's the kind of production I like. You know? Yeah. Everything. Ta- put it all out yes. there. Here's the whole thing. It's time to move <laughs> yeah. with the times, man. Move with the time, my yeah. man. Since I'm saving this, we'll keep it. And we yeah, hit we them from all angles. We yeah, hit I think guys. That's, a, that's another thing that a lot of really good musicians that I know on hip on like visuals. Mm. Like, mm. people are so dope, they don't even have. It's not even there at all. Like they've never heard them speak about yo yeah. video. Mm-hmm. Video is very vital. Yeah, people I know gotta visuals see. are people important, gotta bro. See <laughs> people have to see you, man. Yeah. People gotta see you. Yeah. People have to see the people gotta a see video, face behind the video voice. goes a long way in making a song. A song, yeah. 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 It so paints the picture. Yeah. Mm. And okay, um for people that would like to work with you guys, where can they find you? you can oh. DM me. Yeah. Yeah. Or highlight me through other artists. Where where are the handles? What are the handles? At audio underscore sims, Instagram and Twitter. Mm, audio Luna, sims on Facebook. Um, Instagram, Lord Script underscore dope artist. Uh, Twitter, it's Lord Script DA. Facebook, it's Lord Script. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, we're expecting? Um, uh, probably yeah. supposed to. I'll probably release Project. next month. Project. Yeah, because like I could, like I have a lot of music, bro. I could release, I could release every month if I wanted to. Shout out. But I think, yeah, I should drop um, a mixtape next month, uh, yeah. Monothesium. We've been working with it with Audio Sims for probably like a year. Yeah. A year. Yeah, yeah. it's a year. Yeah, so I think I'm probably going to let it go now. They deserve it. They've been waiting. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of messages like, yo, the street hey, needs man. Because <laughs> like, yeah, I hit them hard with the last project. Yeah. Yeah. So and then I just more. been dropping singles only. Shut so up. yeah man and mm. and you how many people's way your hands are all over the city dog where else yeah dog hey i'm trying to work with more people man mm. more 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 i've been studio hopping a little bit i went studio hopping a bit this week mm. uh yeah emailing i want to collab with other producers a little more mm. you know yeah mm. that's what i'm trying to do work work keep work, doing work, what work. i'm what i'm doing and just on bigger scale you know all the time man um thanks for joining us gentlemen right, thanks for having uh, us it's, shout it's out. a pleasure we'll see you once the project's out yeah. definitely i mean my man is always working also coming soon theme song for this podcast theme beat Produced by Audio Sims. Shout out. Bang. Shout out to that. <laughs> Shout it's out to it's that. official. It's official. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> We've been out here without a theme song. <laughs> okay. Thank you to Audio Sims and Lord Scripts for joining us. And shout out to Skindy for bringing you two gentlemen out here. Shout, shout out, out, man. I appreciate it. No, man. it's a trap. And like we said, this is a special series. And my man at the back, I don't know what his Q name. Q man, Q He's man. The guy behind the tattoos. Ah, wait, that's, that's, ah, wait. that's the chopper. Oh, okay. He's the chopper. <laughs> okay, I need to get catch, in on that. Catch, catch Q, on the, <laughs> catch Q yeah, on the next man. podcast. Wait, yeah. his name is Q. Q, yeah. Shit, mm-hmm. I all niggas all Q. All <laughs> tattoo niggas are Q. <laughs> the nigga that tattoos me is Q. Ukawa, uh, yeah. No, 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 no which no, one? did my first tattoo. <laughs> and he moved to Joburg. Two, yeah, PTA, yeah. And yeah. Then three Qs, you know. And then there's another <laughs> one from yes. Eskawin. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, now nah, he's a tattoo. Now there's yeah. another Q. Sure. Who, oh, my God. <laughs> I guess it's a thing. Yeah. Other than that, you can follow the podcast at GNPS underscore on Instagram. You can follow me at General underscore Geniela on Instagram. On Twitter, it's at General underscore Genie. Otherwise, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We've <laughs> been busy. We added, shout out my man Tiny behind the camera. Tiny Films, Tiny what's Films up? underscore. Representing the North. Yeah. Hold Three it, five. Hold, holding it down <laughs> for John Ross. John Ross <laughs> boys, JRC gang, <laughs> 035 boys, peace <laughs> out. <laughs>